This is not just a catapult. It's a catapult made for launching humans. It's by far our biggest and most dangerous contraptions we've ever built and we want to bring it to one of the biggest DIY festivals in Europe to show it in front of thousands of people. Now the question is, will it work? So we're setting up our human catapult. Today is going to be a dummy test and if it's going to work well, we're going to put it next to the water and try it ourselves. The concept is simple. Wait on one side, a person on the other and let gravity do the work. But here's the twist. Unlike other catapults we found on the internet, we want to make ours standing up, which gives you better control at launch and more possibilities to flip out of it. So we built a flat platform at the end and two handlebars to support you. Maybe After we should put some padding on that part at the top, like at the very top, so if you hit it, you're like, ooh, that's soft. I was talking about the worst case scenario where you mess up the takeoff and land somehow back on the frame. But instead of worrying about the future, we decided to focus on the present and managed to finally get the catapult standing. However, we still had yet to figure out how to get it standing upright so that we can load the weights on it. <laughs> Those tries are always like defusing a bomb. Yeah. You never know when it's gonna go off. And Max just doesn't <laughs> care, he just plays around. It's basically like a big swing, like a seesaw, and it's fun to mess around with it, which is oh. also dangerous as you can see. We forgot to put a rope on the, on the top so that we can get it down. Max, is the stupid, stupid, stupid! Luckily, thanks to Meiji's cowboy alter ego, we managed to get the rope around the platform in no time and pulled it down. The mechanism is a bit more straightforward than the cannon, so I have quite high hopes. Without any idea what to expect, we decided to first do a dry test without a dummy, as we had no idea what was gonna happen. I want this to be a stress test today as well. In this stage of testing, usually a cable snaps, a bar bends or something like that. But there's only one way to find out what's gonna break this time. Three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Oh, my heart is pumping like crazy. It's like l letting go, it was, it was uh, kind of silent and nothing not much happened and then you see and hear the music. so the next step is uh put the, the put dummy the dummy with, test yeah human weight dummy is gonna show if the long pole can even withstand such a lever and that is our main concern seeing one of the poles snap so now dummy is loaded on the launching platform and we doubled the weight on the other side there's a lot more forces in the game than I expected. But I think the structure will hold. I think that dummy is gonna fly about like 15 meters. Here I would like that we jump to the end of this field. Somewhere between 40 and 60 feet, if the thing's gonna hold up. Right now we're seconds away from the first test and it could be a great success or a great disaster. Speed, speed, three, two, one, I don't know what is this good or bad or I was hoping it would go faster and, and higher. But it basically like it took off in the vertical position so it couldn't go much further than this. I feel like a person could handle this force. It was not the whole way around. The design works, we have to reinforce a couple of things and then the thing is ready for a human test. The main goal of the test was achieved. The structure actually works and holds up. A person will be able to push off the platform, so with a better takeoff, this should look much, much better. It's time for the first human test, and we are here in Cocheria Lake, a beautiful location with a nice pier. And it's so nice outside, everybody is in such a good mood, but I feel that as soon as we set the cannon up, that is gonna shift. The whole takeoff seems a bit more chill here because the acceleration is slower. It's been a while since Gap was the first to test one of our contraptions, so he was nice enough and volunteered on this one. So the first test does not really worry you so far? I mean, it does, but not that much. I love to go up and down. Maybe with this one I'm just gonna go down. 
Maybe I am worried a bit. So before we could have Gap overthink too much, we decided to do one task at a time and first assemble the catapult and have it standing upright. Ah, the catapult is standing. So no problem so far. Is it bigger than you thought? <coughs> pretty big. I don't know if it's bigger than what I thought, but it's pretty big. This is our friend Jake, you might know from a couple of our previous videos. He's a world-class athlete specializing in trampol and he's gonna spend some time in Slovenia and join us for the rest of this journey. Uh, this frame is a new addition, it uh, spreads the load, it's more stable. But it doesn't quite fit, right? <laughs> it doesn't quite fit. But that's probably because the boy is messed up, right? Yeah, sure, of course. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck did you put this here? <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't look at me! <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the round things to fit on the bottom of it. Putting up tires was the last step of preparation we had to do, meaning the time to test has almost come. Do you feel uh, the butterflies about now or not yet? When I stood on the platform I started to, like when I mentally visualized it. Yeah, the upper position looks so much cooler. How much counterweight did we put on? 640 kilos. But we have an extra pole that we can fill another four tires on and increase by 50%. And we will do that in front of a big audience in the middle of a festival. But only if this test ends up working out safe. We need to check every single component to make sure everything is in its place on set before we tension the catapult for the first time forget we did the final checkup to make sure no screw is missing that everything is in its place and attached the tensioning mechanism so the cannon is being lowered down and the moment is coming oh. yeah okay so let me just Standing on it, you can like feel that there's a lot of energy stored and oh, underneath your feet. Right. Now my heart is pumping. <sighs> Want to start a bit forward and then go backwards. The worst part be about being first is you have to do the interviews. Super nervous. Yeah, there's a million things going through your head at that point. The hardest thing about it is inability to visualize the stun because the whole dynamics is, once again, way different than with any of our other contraptions. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Pazzi! Five, four, three, two, one. Success. Yeah. Shit, I'm shaking. <laughs> the jolt is not a problem at all. But at a sudden moment, it goes like up, not so much forward. But I, I've got zero idea when when I did the takeoff. I feel nervous as fuck. I thought I'm gonna have more words to say. I don't have. Of course, everybody wanted to give it a go too. It is important to get to know the feeling of it. As in a week's time, we're gonna take this to a big festival with a huge crowd put other people on it and at the same time try to flip out of it. I think this one might be one of my favorite ones of your guys'. You just get launched. <laughs> Gap explained it, but when I went it's like such a strange physics were applied. Common consensus was that it is super weird but also loads of fun. It just transports you into another dimension. <laughs> I mean, depends who you ask actually. I didn't see it, but it sounded bad. Scandy was fine, but it was an unpleasant reminder of what could go wrong as we were about to step it up by quite a lot. The catapult works at 66% of the power and it's time to go to the next location to push it to 100%. We are at Macherfest and it's time to set up our catapult and give it a real Full power test. Macherfest is a maker festival organized by German YouTubers, the real life guys, where they take over an old industrial peninsula and give a platform to creators of all kinds to build and show their inventions. Their idea of doing things revolves around a very simple slogan, do something. This is exactly what this festival is about, which is why we put so much effort into our catapult and brought it all the way here. 
We have three specific goals that are very important to us. Give a chance to other people to try it out, try to do flips from the catapult, and most importantly, use the chance of being here to hopefully inspire others. So Safety Engineer just approved our setup that is one of the safest on the festival and uh, we have a green light. The catapult is finally standing. We did all the last touches yesterday. So today is the day to do the first test on the catapult. We added extra 400 kilos of weight. and We'll see how far is that gonna launch us. Like second year at Macherfest is even better than the first year. So I'm feeling good. And now we have time to give the chance to try that to some of our friends that we trust, uh, some experienced uh, athletes. You're the first girl who's gonna try the catapult. Yeah, first girl on the catapult, unless you count Jan, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad to be finally here to see that thing in life and send it. <laughs> Not really nervous. Uh, the only thing that is, is we're already going full power. No lower setting. If I had any poop left in my stomach, dude, it would, go, would it would it would be out. Like I'd be completely <laughs> empty if there would be anything in my, in my stomach. Putting other people on our sketchy contraptions like this is always nerve-wracking for us. Even though we know they're experienced acrobats. That's why we always do our best to prepare them so they know what to expect. You have to jump later than you would expect. Okay. Lean forward, mm -hmm. don't rush, cool. be patient, don't panic. Cool. That's the most important. If you follow those, you know what? You do the most. I feel like trample. When I learn new tricks, I tend to rush the new tricks. You, you shouldn't told me that. <laughs> like, that's not. No, no, no. I know. A good. I know. I got this. Besides putting other people onto the catapult, there's a couple of things we want to do ourselves as well. I think the most anyone's ever gone is really like perfectly vertical. But I just want to see what happens if you hold it a little longer. I want to try like the. 360 or something, 360 dead dive. We're gonna try to go backwards, we're gonna lean as much as we can, and hopefully the weight gets us out far enough, and hopefully I can actually do a backflip, otherwise I'm just gonna get stuck to my back. <laughs> I'm next, going for gainer. A little bit of lump in my throat, because I'm terrified of it, but let's get this thing started. This is not a thing I can flop on. Okay, are you nervous? Yes, I'm like, you always get the adrenalines before you do the thing for the first time. The adrenalines. The adrenalines. <laughs> but yeah, the first the first try is so close, so close. <laughs> Excited as fuck. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we're going to the moon. Okay, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 1. strange because everything is moving but you're still <laughs> staying it is so weird <laughs> Despite all the nervousness and tension along the way, it ended up working crazy good. So we started doing flips and spins, car it started to happen. <laughs> all the hard work paid off and we were ecstatic to have built this beautiful contraption and brought it to such a crazy event and shared it with so many like-minded people trying to bring their ideas to life. Bro, that was everything I didn't expect! We definitely completed the first two of our goals and can only wish it goes the same for the last one. I think double is gonna be totally doable. All we really want to do is chase our dreams and we try our best to do so. Along the way, we try to pass our enthusiasm onto you guys and hopefully inspire you to do the same. <laughs>